all right guys welcome back to another video today's video is part two for our pistol tutorial which you guys have been waiting for a long time and it's finally come so today we're going to be fixing the gun in this video because it does have a what lot of errors so without further ado let's get right into the video all right so without further ado i'm gonna go to local script and over here we have a and over here we have our little script here and the problem is that when we shoot the sky it's gonna lag out the whole script and break it so to fix this we're gonna do if target then and just put this here what this does if it checks what this does is it checks if there is actually a target so if we shoot the sky it will just ignore it so, so now if we try this out and we shoot the sky it doesn't break the script and we can still damage our dummy just like before all right so the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this fire event into our pistol and we're gonna take the local script we're gonna do instead of game.replicated storage.fire we're gonna change this to script.parent.fire i'm gonna delete this so now we have this done. what would happen before is that when we would fire this server it would actually happen for every gun that is in the game so this will actually stop it from happening to every gun and only the gun that we're holding next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make other players see our muzzle effect so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a new remote event in our pistol i'm gonna select it and i'm gonna call it and i'm gonna call it fire effect now here we're gonna do local fire effect is equal to script up here in the fire effect fire effect colon fire server and that's it now another thing we have to do is in this script we have to do instead of game.replicated storage we have to do script.parent.fire now that will fix the whole script all right so now that we have that we're gonna select this here Control x to delete it and put it in our clipboard i'm gonna go back to the script and paste it here and now i'm gonna do script.parent.fire effect dot on server event colon connect function and i'm just gonna paste this in here so what we're gonna do is here we're gonna do wait for child fire effect and i realized the problem we have the sound And I realized the problem. The sound here, I just uh, I have to rename the sound to fire sound because it's actually making it mistaken for the sound. So here I'm going to change it to fire sound. So if so, make sure to have your sound and your remote event different names, otherwise the script will get confused. So we select our gun. It works, and it looks the same. But now other players will be able to see it. So now we can shoot infinitely, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is actually make a reload script for a gun. So in order to make a reload, first we're going to get local UIS is equal to game, hold on, get service, user input service. Now this is like before, like in our other videos, it's going to check for a keyboard to see if we press the button. All right, now we're going to make a value, int value, in our gun and i'm gonna call it ammo i'm gonna set it to something like 10 for now and now we're gonna do local ammo is equal to script parent ammo and let's actually uh wait for child ammo now over here we're gonna do if ammo dot value is larger than zero then we're gonna put it here and also we're gonna do ammo.value minus equals one. What this will do is remove the ammo from our value when we shoot. And now if we shoot, we won't be able to shoot after 10 shots. If we go ahead and shoot, we'll see that we'll shoot 10 times and that's it. I'm pressing my mouse right now and nothing is happening. So that works we have our little ammo here all right so now that we have that done we actually have to make the reload so what i'm gonna do is uis dot input began 
example, on connect function. And, and now we're going to do local reloading is equal to false. If not reloading, then paste all of this in here. Now, this will check if we're not reloading because otherwise, if we're reloading, um, because uh, we don't want to be infinitely reloaded. We don't want to, we don't want to. We don't want to be shooting infinitely and shooting while we're reloading. So now we're gonna do. So now we're gonna do, and I forgot to do input. Now we're gonna do if input dot key code is equal equal to enum dot key code dot r, which is gonna be our reload button. Then we're gonna do if reloading is not if not reloading then reloading is equal to true wait i'm gonna see i'm gonna wait about five minutes five seconds and then reloading i'm gonna wait about three seconds and then we're gonna do reloading is equal to false here we're gonna do ammo dot value is equal to 10 and over here we're gonna do l else if ammo dot value is smaller or equal to zero then and then we're gonna do if not reloading then and then we're gonna do ammo dot value minus equals one and reloading is equal to true wait three seconds reloading is equal to false and i forgot it's it's not minus equal one it's equal ten so now let's try this out All right so now if we do this we'll be able to shoot 10 times and then we'll reload and then we can shoot again now this isn't really visible so i'm gonna get a little audio and i'm gonna call it and i'm gonna search reload now we're here I'm gonna get this one right click it copy asset id i'm gonna make here i have I already have a little reload sound but i'm just gonna make it again for the sake of the video here we're gonna press on the plus make a new sound call it reload and paste it in the sound id so now over here we're gonna do local reload sound is equal to script dot parent dot reload and over here we're gonna do reload sound colon play copy this and paste it here so now if we shoot we'll be able to we'll be able to hear the reload sound and now if we shoot again to the maximum and press we'll be able to hear the reload sound and we also can't spam it so that works but now we actually have to see how much ammo we have because what's the point of shooting if we can't really see how much ammo we have you know so in starter gui i'm going to create a screen gui and i'm going to call it gun gui in the gun gui i'm going to make a little frame put this and now what we're gonna do is over here we're gonna do local gy is equal to player dot player gy now we're gonna do text is equal to local text is equal to y dot frame uh, wait for child frame dot ammo so now over here we're gonna do, do text dot text is equal to ammo dot value plus and i'm just gonna do this to show how much it is out of 10. so what this is gonna do is it, it's gonna update the text it's gonna see the gui even if the gun is not equipped so now we're gonna do script dot parent dot equipped call on connect function we're gonna do gui dot enabled 
is equal to true. And here we're going to script that parent dot unequipped colon connect function GUI dot enabled is equal to false. And I'm going to disable this. So now if we try this out, so now if we try this out, it won't work. So what I'm going to do is how are you stupid? And over here, I actually forgot to get the frame. So it's so what we're going to do to fix that is going to be it's going to be player dot player GUI dot gun GUI, which is that what I forgot to do. All right. So now if we equip it, we can see that our GUI appears. And when we shoot it no, 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 no. <laughs> now, guys, it's OK to have a lot of errors. This is totally normal. So so when you do code by yourself, it will you will also have a lot of errors and it's just patience. So two hours later, after a long time of trying to fix this, the problem was instead of a plus, it's two dots and it's two string, not string. So I'm going to copy this and replace all of this. All of these codes here. And I'll actually take this code and, and instead I will put it here. So now if we try this out, we can see that when we shoot, it changes. If we reload by pressing R, we can see that it's 10. If we kill the dummy and we keep pressing, it will reload. So guys, that's how you make a working reload for the gun and a few minor bug fixes. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe because that really helps me out. And if you did have any problems, make sure to contact me by joining my Discord server, which is linked in the description or just commenting on the YouTube video. And you guys, if you do have ideas, then make sure to comment that too. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Bruh.